Welcome back to Let's Play Undertale, where we're apparently on a date with Papyrus. I've actually never done this before, but don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating rule from the library. We're ready to have a free time. Let's see. Step 1. Press your controllers. Circle button for dating. Dating HUD? Wowee, I feel so informed! I think we're ready for step two. Step two, ask them on a date. Um, you and I, the great boys, we go on a date with you. Really? Wowee, you didn't even check what you just said, but I guess it was yes. I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three, put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now. That. Earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. Now, could it be? You wanted to take me from the very beginning. <laughs> no. You planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. No, you're taking power. Yeah. Yeah. Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the great papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I, too, can wear clothes. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! <laughs> yeah, what do you think of my secret style? No! Oh, a genuine compliment! However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further, unless you find my secrets. But that won't happen. You can inspect with X. What is your secret? That you're a cold head? The shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Except, tip all clothing articles can be improved this way. My hat! My hat! My hat! <laughs> well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Do you know what this is? Spaghetti! That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right, but oh so wrong. This ain't any plain old bastard. This is an artisan work, Susan Spaghetti. Finely aged in an open cask. However, then cooked by me, Master Chef of Iris. You but it's time to eat this. I mean, end this. Eat this too. There's no way this can go any further. You take a small bite. Your face reflectively scrunches up. The face is inscribed. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. Ah! Ah! No! Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um, my, is it hot in here or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I, I tried very hard to, but I thought that because you flushed with me that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then on the day, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great virus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark twist no passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No. Oh. Wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. You man, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happens. After all, you are very great. 
it would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as friends me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> that was really weird. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me any time. Platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> that was very, very strange. You know, one thing I know as well is apparently Sam's is like, you know, the antagonist if you go the genocide route. Which makes sense. I mean, you know, if you go genocide route, you basically kill his brother. <laughs> of course he's gonna be pissed. I feel like maybe you don't actually fight Sans anymore unless you do that. He doesn't seem like the kind of guy who would fight us unless, you know, we were causing trouble. Okay, you don't have any different dialogue. Okay, it seems the people in the buildings might not have additional dialogue. Don't know why I even bothered. I knew she was gonna have new dialogue, but I did it anyway. Yeah, it seems nobody gets any additional dialogue in those. Wonder where that dog ran off to though. Are you guarding a secret there or what? Let's go check that area up north one more time. Maybe something's different. Probably not. Ah, what a beautiful lock! Is that going to come into play later on? It's like, yeah, we are going to have to cross on the ice bridge. FBI, open up! Maybe there's like, you gotta knock it a certain amount of times. Why is this uh, area you can go up to? There doesn't seem to be anything here. Oh, papyrus. That furry person throws ice all day. Nobody knows where it goes. Wait. Hmm. Snowden, home of papyrus. That's the slogan, right? Hmm, so if we call them in different locations, they will comment on it. Interesting. There's no response. We got no signal up in here. Sorry, Al. Yeah. She, she's done with us. She's <laughs> like, no. Forget we ever interacted. What happened if we were to call him inside of it? 
Grilby sits dark and full of griefs. Purgatory and fries, hamburgers, and gifts. Anyway, my brother Brett lives here. But I don't see him here. Wait a minute. Did you steal a bone? What about you? The inn's a great place to stay. The lady who runs it is really nice. She always gives me a lollipop and a pat on the head. I don't suppose they're going to get a signal from here, right? This bridge looks dangerous, but it's very stable. In fact, it's just a rock for me, I think. I think it looks more dramatic that way. How can you see it? <laughs> Are you on, like, uh... FaceTime kind of chat thing, or what? Wait a minute. We all live in the woods, so no one can tell us what to do. But now everyone ignores us. I don't want freedom if it means no one's gonna pay attention to me. Don't remember you being there. Woof. Must be bigger on the inside. The station of Greater Dark. He looks a bit like a certain dog. But Greater Dark doesn't collect any. He's only a uh, kleptomaniac for a feature. Looks like yourself. I always jump over the gap instead of solving it. Sounds never solves it either. He always just, um, gets across. Rift Trot lives near there. They like gifts. Don't worry if you can't afford something nice. It's the fort that counts. So I imagine you have a lot of money. Well, it is a local tradition based off of my own suffering. How do you feel about that? My signal is getting weak. Looks like the phone won't work past you. So there's no reason to go further. I was wondering if maybe you could give us some insight into what that door was. What was that? What what's going on back there? Snow dark. So you should know lesser dog. This dog loves to be pet. That's its defining personality. Wait, why are they a royal god and not me? Love to be back too. The dog familiar—it's at Grillby's, I think. After work, all the dogs go there to play cards together. But that dog doesn't really know what to wow, how, how to express itself, so it ends up playing alone, instead of introducing itself to the others. What the hell happened here? Oh, ho, the puzzle that Dr. Arthur Rowdy made. I have to ask Undyne to ask her to make one. I only follow her online. I'm not really friends with her yet. The puzzle that went nowhere. Oh, ho, this puzzle. You figured it out so easily. That was very papyrus of you. What? Hello. Eh, a teen. Teens live self-sufficiently off the fat of the land. Oh, and the box lunches my parents bring us every day. Besides Snowy, we have to share ours with him. Hmm, a solution to this one. Actually, I stepped over the spikes. 
So the solution is to be very tall and handsome. This room is normally blocked by those spice, but we're thinking of getting rid of them. The king released a mandate on puzzles recently. He thinks spikes are ineffective and are hazardous to kids. But I think he's wrong. Kids love deadly spikes. I guess all the random encounters are just non-existent because they're just chilling around. Hey, stop thinking about my hat. I'm thinking about my hat. Can you please? Hey, stop thinking about my hat, please. You aren't thinking about my hat, can you please? Ah, the spaghetti trap room. Well, I guess it's not much of a trap anymore since you ate all of it. I didn't read the rest of that, I accidentally skipped it. Hmm, crossword, I guess it's an apt name. Those words make me cross. The famous Snowden snowball game. Faster cut and bleaching gives different prizes. Where does the money come from? The snowball tracks, of course. So I could have made more than one gold if I just did a bit better. Ha <laughs> ha rule these words were smaller than out of fist. Yeah, well, stop, you know, putting shit on the antlers of that one monster, you douchebag. A station of the married dogs. Hmm. Do you ever think about doing that someday? Marrying a dog? No. If someone actually tried to marry a dog, I would have to question their sanity. Oh ho, the electric maze! That show is fun, except for when I got shocked. Shocked to the bones. Careful, the ice is slippery, but if you slide on the ice, no one will attack you. No one wants to have a fall during a coup technique. Sup, snowman? How am I doing? By I, I mean the piece of me I gave you, huh? You lost it. I suppose I can give you another piece. Please be careful this time. Ah, oh, yeah, sorry. I forgot about that. The snowman piece. I think I accidentally uh, used it in battle, maybe? Or maybe it melted. I don't know. Thank you for taking care of me. It must be tough being a snowman. Try to be nice to people made of strange materials. We. A station of Doggo. He has the amazing power to see things when they move. Okay, maybe it's not an amazing power. And this was where we first met, wasn't it? I think. Some duration on the cardboard box. You observe the Grail Grafton Sentry Station. Who could have built this? Your ponder. I bet it was a very famous Royal Guardsman. No, not yet a very famous Royal Guardsman. He's got a comment on that, isn't he? Yeah, I'm impressed. Not only am I great at puzzles, but I'm also an esteemed architect. How are some of you green and some of you white? I ran away from home. Why? Because my father was so cold to me. What? It's a joke. Laugh at it. I really joke. I don't care. That's like my jokes. Maybe it's to uh, differentiate between like the female and male. I don't know. What? Are you lost? Hmm. You should try calling someone for help. Hey, Tariel. Gosh, she doesn't pick up. <laughs> What's he got to say about this? It's too cold to swim in the river, unless you have a waterproof sweater. Doesn't mention the uh, fishing rod. This is where my brother is supposed to patrol, but 
every time I saw a beast slacking off. It's a good thing I spotted you first. I'm sure you would have made a weird first impression. Like, ask you for a handshake. I mean, who does that? Don't think we can go all any further back from here, right? Because we came up from the ruins past this point, if I recall. God, this is a real long walk, isn't it? Does it ever end? It does. Which is not great, to be honest. Because that means I have to walk all the way back. Hmm, a strange door in the woods. Actually, my brother spends a lot of time here. What's he doing? I've got to keep him on the straight and narrow. Yeah, we can't go back through the ruins. But now we know that the signal for his phone extends quite far. Except for, you know, conveniently that one door. Man, what is going on with the caps card there? Stand still. I'm right, still doing it. It's like, think of a pipe organ. Okay, stop doing it. It's still kind of doing it. It's kind of glitching out. Hopefully it doesn't look like that on the final recording. It usually doesn't even when it does that. But still. <laughs> like, think of a pipe organ. You know how the pipes look? It's like it's going from, like, you see the image of the game, and then suddenly it turns into a pipe organ. That's how the glitching is looking. <laughs> How strange. We gotta walk all the way back. Oh no. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> Ice physics! Oh fuck. Do I get one gold? Even when you felt trapped, you took the notes and achieved the end of the ball. You are brought in two gold this time. Okay. Works for me. Wait, was there like another area now? Whoa, 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 whoa. Off the cliff I went. Everyone's wearing hats, and I branch into a different item. Ice jaws. Doesn't have the same ring to it. Ice socks and sandals. I guess this technique comes to the new area, right? We were getting bored waiting for you, so I built a snow papyrus, and Sans did his thing. Oh no. <laughs> How can you slip so far like that? It's a sidestep, fool. Seriously, though, can we not actually uh, get a signal all the way over here? Actually, let me just check something. Yeah, we still got the snow. Yeah, 
Yeah, no response. I've noticed those hat wearing things do have different color hats. A lot of trees down there. Is that supposed to be like a lake? Or is it just like an open area? We can't actually, well, I might as well buy something. Buy a cinnamon bun. Anything to talk about? Hi, oh, yeah, welcome to Snowden. I can't remember where I saw my so fresh face around here. Where did it come from? The capital. You don't look like tourists, are you here by yourself? Bye now. Did we call him in the library? I forget. I love the library. The books are all arranged by color. A sense of order. It fills me with power. You're in my house. Good choice. Though I guess it's certainly Santa's house too. But I prefer not to discuss his problems. The truth is, it's like another place. A world where they don't know how to vacuum. Actually, I should probably save before heading further. Just to be careful, we have wandered far. I should have uh, taken that shortcut, but didn't realize the save file was all the way on the other side of town. This is where I try to capture you. What a terrible memory. Just gonna call him every screen. Midpoint. Is does that like meaning we're at the midpoint of the game? What a fool. I barely know anything about it. But I'll do my best to inform you. Sands is over here. Wait, you were in the town. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? Is this this fish lady or something you were alluding to? I want to be just like who when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. Ha ha ha. Okay, I'm ready when you are. My brother has a station here. Yes, he's banned two stations at once. Amazing, isn't he? He slacks off twice as much as normal. I mean, you know, aside from you being non, not clearly not human, you have a face that just screams Earthbound to me, which I suppose makes sense because of the influence. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. Need her. Need her. <laughs> Need her. Need her. Okay, I'm ready when you are. Need her. 
I guess it doesn't look here from that far. What? Have you seen a guy with two jobs before? Watching two jobs means twice as many new quiet breaks. I'm going to Grillby's. Wanna come? No, yeah, why not? Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Grillby's is the other way about. Over here, I know a shortcut. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Reading, Sans. Hi, Sansy. Hey, Sans, weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Yeah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You want me thinking of brunch? Here, get comfy. Whoops, watch here, you sit down. Where well, you sit down, some weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, that's all. What do you want? Well, fries or burger, I mean, go for both, wouldn't we? Just get a burger. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grill me, we'll have a double order burger. So, what do you think of my brother? Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. You'd only take that thing off if he actually had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. Here comes Grub. Want some ketchup? Bone ever teach? You tip the ketchup. The cap falls off and all the ketchup in the bowl falls on you. Whoops. Hey, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. You're a skeleton. How do you eat? Stop scratching your ass. <laughs> anyway, cool or not, you have to be fire strike real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the royal guard. One day he went to the house of the head of the royal guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warning training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. With Spotlight, have you ever heard of a talking flower? So you know all about it. The Echo Flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Virus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes when no one else is around, Flower appears and whispers things to you. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using Echo Flower to play a trick on you. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. It's flowery, isn't it? It's just convenient that you happen to have these talking flowers things that are just repeat things. But then you got the real deal. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you put the bill? It's just... Oh my god. Just kidding. We'll be putting on my tab. No way a burger costs that much. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Did you even eat your uh, ketchup burger? You said that your food is probably cold by now. Yeah, and I can't, I can't get back on my seat to eat it. Yeah, he's just saying the same stuff. You know what? It's making me think of with the jukebox. In was in Mother Free, that one kind of rundown-looking bar, pub, or wherever. And the jukebox had like a few tracks on there that only plays in that specific area. And it's kind of cool. I actually, fig. I actually did try to record a cover of it the other day, but my guitar, you know, when I had it plugged in, is giving that horrible feedback sound, and so I was like, screw it. It's called Resolve. It kind of goes.
It has like a toss over when it goes second time around. It's like... It's a nice piece of music, it only plays on the jukebox in that one area of the game. It's a nice piece of music. Guitar solo sounds a bit mental though because of the whatever MIDI instrument they had for it, but it's cool. So as is most regular raw, you hasn't been showing up so much recently though. So as is certainly but don't just get out this style and make it think it does anything. Everyone knows he sits around as far as we can come at age. I guess they do have something different with that. Except for you. How do you lose a game of poker chess? I mean, you said something about making out with a fish. Last time I talked to you. Ah, since when did you and Sans become friends? I don't like him. He loves to appear without moving. I was hoping Sans came in to give me a pat on the head. Interloper. Which one is the female, which one's the male, I'm not sure. I like Sans. Sometimes he feeds us scraps of food under the table. Then his brother gets mad. But why? We're adults. We can handle it. Sandy, come back and sit with me. Everything's so fun when you're around. Sans is interesting. He has told me about all kinds of interests. What a grandpa food, whatever I found the price it. For Spanish knowledge, he always orders the worst on earth. The, the, you know, the full on ketchup of the, uh, something. I don't know. A modern crisis in this dreary place where everyone's so happy and getting along, but it's actually got darker undertone, maybe. That's great. I guess I'll, you know, stop recording now. I'll record one more part, because, you know, need a minimum of three parts for, you know, uh, this Let's Play for the rest of the year here, so that then I can, you know, finally put together the New Year montage clips for this Let's Play. Now, depending on, you know, uh, I wouldn't put, like, the uh, New Year montage clips at the end of the next part, but I might, you know, if I if there's time, you know, play the track at the end of the video, and like, you know, just copy and paste, like, and by copy and paste, I just mean insert the same, some, like, footage from this Let's Play where I'm just kind of wonder about, so that's not just a blank screen. Maybe I'll do that at the end of the next part, depending how we're off the time on that. So see you next time, viewers. See you next time.